Okay, Ron is promised. Uh, here's my uh, video of uh, taking apart a Myers Manx um, uh, buggy made uh, just recently released by Salido. Really cute little models. Um, I got one of the uh, no top ones um, in orange. <clears throat> His uh, steering whoop, steering wheels here. Um, I got to say the the wheels are really nice. Um, I would love a set of these to to use on some other models. Um, but there we go. Little fuel tank in the back. A couple of little racing seats. Quite a um, dinky little steering wheel. Ah, which I've just noticed isn't connected to the to the wheel. So that's that's um, something I hadn't realised. I'll just tilt that up a bit. Um, yeah, got nice little dials in there. Quite a cute little thing. The little frog eyes uh, headlights and the number plate. As far as I can tell, other than having a hard top, um, the blue one is identical. Um, and what I can see. So here's the same fuel tank. Oh no, the steering wheel on that one does turn. Okay. I did cheat and I actually took apart the orange one before, so obviously I haven't connected the steering uh, back up properly. Uh, there was a bit of conjecture about whether they're the same car. Um, the, the window frame on this is different. Uh, on the blue car under here, it's a little bit hard to show in a video, but there's a plate that sits under this it's, that attaches the roof to. Um, so you could remove it, but you would have a, um, extra material across here that you'd need to remove. So I kind of suggest if you want to get an open top one, just get an open top one rather than a hard top one and take the roof off. Um, but here we go. Now, there is a little bit of a tricky part to taking this, this apart. So underneath, um, there are four screws, one up here at the front two down here in front of the rear suspension and this larger one in the uh, just under the engine sump here um, I missed that one the first time so you've, you've got to remove those so quick and easy four screws Now, it almost comes completely off, as easy as that. However, there is, I think it's a fuel line. Just a bit tricky to see, but just connecting up, up there, up into the bottom of the tray there. So, unfortunately, um, the only way to get that off is to cut that. So, I am prepared to sacrifice uh, for this particular one. So, I'm just going to get my craft knife and just snip that off doesn't want to come off boy it really is quite reluctant there you go right and there you have it the two parts Two parts off. Um, nice little shortened Volkswagen chassis uh, with uh, obviously the little uh, VW engine there. Um, it's got a bit of colour on it, the fan belt, um, the gearbox, the seats probably are removable. Um, there's nothing obviously to show me how they're attached, whether they're perhaps just glued uh, straight on. So I'd have to have a look at that. And there's the body and just underneath. So you can see here this extra panel uh, or piece of material on the back of the um, head uh, windshield. Just to hold that on. You could probably just um, lever that up, I think. That would pop off. And you could cut it and trim it on the back. 
yeah, it does look like it's glued on, but um, I think if you took the back part off, it would look exactly the same as the other one. Um, and that's all. That's all die cast, so um, pretty solid. Quite a nice little paint on it. Window wipers. Um, yeah, the uh, rear wheels come off quite easy. Um, at least they do on the orange one. You can just they're just on a on a axle rod, um, so you can just pull them off, and you can see they're quite quite a nice detail. Got the white wall lettering on them. Um, fairly fat tire at the back, and a nice tread pattern on it as well. Um, look, they look really nice on a on a truck or um, something like that. So there we go. Front wheels. Um, there's a couple of extra screws to take the motor off, and on the front steering steering arm there. Um, and I suspect you could probably pull the front wheels off. Um, I'll just see if I can gently lever them off with the the old double flathead mechanism. So you 